Hey guys, just want to show you a quick tip because um, I've gotten this question many times over the years on how to pump down a refrigeration system. Okay, the point of pumping a unit down is to get all our gas in the system up into our receiver here so then we can then make repairs anywhere after the receiver or dryer down the liquid line all the way back to the suction side without taking out any gas. By doing that, all the gas will be on the roof, up in your receiver tank, and you can make repairs downstairs, fix leaks, change expansion valves, solenoid valves, sight glasses here, anything on the suction side, change oil on the compressor, whatever you gotta do. Well, all you do is you go on the outlet of your receiver where your dryer would be. You just gotta wind the valve all the way in, all the way in. All right, that closes off the line. No gas will come out of this receiver now when this pumps down. So what we'll do is we'll start it up, we'll pump it down, get all the gas back and everything should shut off on low pressure. You could also shut it off here if you wanted to, but either, don't matter, either there or there, as long as it's somewhere where the gas is going to stay in this unit, in the receiver and in the condenser. So as you can see guys, our unit is pumping down. Look on your gauges here, low side. It's gonna shut off around five PSI or so. That's what this pressure control is set at. So once that shuts off, you can see on your liquid side too right here, because that's after where I shut the valve off. It's all emptying out. It's all coming down. So that means there'll be no more gas in these lines. To get it down, you know, to zero or get any residual out of there, you go over to you. You can press a contactor or whatever. You come over here. You know, you push that in manually with a screwdriver or something just to get any residual gas out of the system. But that is how you pump a refrigeration system down. Okay, and afterwards you could shut the inlet valve here um, on your king valve on your compressor if you wanted to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. And you can make any repairs in these lines from this condensing unit all the way downstairs in your evaporator. And after you could also isolate your compressor pull any gas out of the high side of this while you head to any compressor say you were changing compressor oil or changing the um, valve plates or anything like that so I just wanted to give you a quick video on that guys because I've gotten a lot of questions over that over the years um, as always thank you guys for watching and um, like and subscribe if you like what's going on I'll catch you boys on the next one